Pardon me, had to do a sneeze. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think that's... I don't know if that's everyone, actually. I think that might be everyone. Nope, there's you. There's you and the guy down there. Let's just kill you as quick as we can. Luckily, the dread meets we can just, like, snap, you know? Oh, by the way, before anyone asks how I was able to snap with this leather glove on, I did not. I literally found a, a WAV file of snapping. I think you should have just heard the intro minutes ago, so if that's on your mind, I, I cheated. I didn't actually snap with gloves on. I'm no strong bad here. Oh, man. I haven't recorded in, like, weeks. Let me actually check. The last time I recorded was when I played Valkyria Chronicles, and I did that... three weeks ago. So I'm rather out of practice, and dare I even say out of shape for recording stuff. Um... You know, I, I have, I'm getting a little hoarse recording this because I'm just so out of practice. I might also be sick. Um, right, let's start the damage on you. Oh, good. She was blinded after her turn. Excellent. Let's go ahead and shuriken him again. I'm having a little problem with, um... I've always had this problem with Datismal, where I like I feel like I have no idea what he's supposed to be doing, because I know that Snumsmosa can deal damage, and she can do so quite efficiently and spectacularly, especially with the fact that she can just keep improving her her punch and keep getting more of that. Oh, we don't even need this. Let's just yeah, let's just attack up. Um, so yeah, Samsosa can do damage. And then Pongorma is usually very slow and tanky, but he can, like, like in the second game, he can charge up and shoot that lightning, and, like, it'll take forever, because it's a minimum two-turn turnover for him to do lightning. And, like, they don't even have to be his two turns. There's an exploit that I never even figured out where you can have him shoot the lightning, and then he gets stunned, but who cares because he did a really awesome attack. And then you can have someone do the move where they clear a status effect on him. Um, Telenudate, I want to say. And then you can have him do that again the next turn. But it requires specific manipulation of people's speed stats. And it also will slaughter through his health or uh, his, his um, magic. But that's fine. All right. Go ahead and do a dark flame. Fathead, monoops. That says monoops, but it's mono space ops. Written as one word, though, for some reason. Because it has one eye, like Cyclops. Because Cyclops doesn't actually mean one eye. I think it means big eye. Because the word Cyclopean means huge. Um, H.P. Lovecraft uses it to mean gigantic in a couple of books. Um... Yeah, I think Cyclopean actually means huge. And Cyclops means giant eye. You know? 
So like a small person who has one eye is arguably not a cyclops. I think that's how it works. But it's also a thing of like, everyone knows the cyclops has one eye. So it might even be like a linguistic drift thing where like, look, cyclops has one eye. We all know that it does. That's, that's the case. You know, where like the literal truth of the word is almost gone. Like, um, I'm trying to think of something, some example of language drift. Um, sorry, I'm just drawing a blank here. Because it's not a thing like bi-weekly or bisexual where it's like, okay, what do you mean when you say bi? Because you don't necessarily mean two. Because bi-weekly can mean once every two weeks or twice a week or every other week. And some people are like bisexual, like two genders. And like, that's not actually what it means. It means bisexual has, as a term, has more to do with homosexual as in same sex than it does with heterosexual opposite sex. But if you consider it, homosexual means you're interested in people of the same sex and bi and hetero means opposite sex but opposite implies that there's two like there's a counterpart sex um and i don't know if there's anyone who would actually identify as heterosexual and you know claim to be interested in uh like sex is outside the typical western gender binary I don't know that there's not. Mm -hmm. Fucking come on, man. Mm -hmm. Let me get in there. You're such an asshole. Mm -hmm. Ugh, this is painful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to, like, actually fight you. Cool. Cool way all right is that everyone all right um but bisexual means like your own sex as in the same sex from he homosexuality and then any other sex and like i don't know if there are people who would identify as heterosexual and mean any sex beyond my own um most of them would fall into the queer umbrella you know, for just being able to have a romantic or sexual attraction to someone who is not, you know, within the Western gender binary. But suffice it to say, my flag is actually over there, but I am bisexual and I've had it up to here with people who are like, that's a trans exclusionary term. It's like, no, it's not. I've been getting on a lot of soapboxes here. I must be upset or something. Last episode, I was complaining about YouTube. God, let's have a lighter topic. Hey, you can see more dead pixels in the mono ops. I don't know if um, the frame rate syncs up in such a way, but you may be able to notice that when it flickers, when it takes damage, see that? The little dots next to it go away, and they're also not a part of the background. Interesting. I love this game. This game and Doom are games where, like, I feel like I could just play them over and over. Um, granted, I've actually not played Doom. I've played a uh, Quake, and I have had I've had videos where I play Doom on this channel, but I've not like properly played it. Demon Skull. That's the helmet that some Snosa is wearing. It's a good helmet. Let's put that on someone else, huh? Oh yeah, we must have some more muscle up leaks. I've been putting them all on Wayne, but you know what? Let's just let's just get her even crazier. He is at 67 mightiness. She is at 99. Oh, she might be maxed out then. I didn't know that that was I didn't know. I knew not what I was doing. Let's do another dark flame just to work through you guys quicker. 
Also because he's got the magic for it. His bar is that empty, but it says uh, 80. So that's pretty good. Come on. Heal over. Um, this is a this is a little known fact, and by little I mean tons of people know it. But there were actually a lot of um, clay. There was actually a lot of clay used in um. There was a lot of clay used in Doom's development. Um, they would actually sculpt models out of clay. Oh, shway, cool. And then they would photograph them. And then they would turn those photographs into sprites through a project called digitization. Digitization sounds a lot cooler than it actually is. You don't really do that much with it, but. Um, which is the same thing that happened here. But here it was made more obvious that these are, um, like these are clearly made of clay. But in the case of Doom, uh, they made it so... How do I put this? Nice. Yeah, I like to see that. In the case of Doom, they made it where... Um... Now we've got uh, 50 juice boxes, so why don't we just... Make it easier on ourselves. Like, it doesn't even matter that we are... That we have access to all these things. I don't want to use them because they don't come back, you know? I know that's, like, a little crazy. But that's classic RPGs as well. Like, I just don't want to use things because I, I'm not going to get them back. But yeah, I greatly like how um, Doom digitized things in order to make it so, like... in order to give the game kind of an art style. The thing is, is that Doom does strive for a bit of realism, but there's another one. Damn it. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Hoisting your crystal. Um, you may notice that these are... These are the... Um, I believe this is a painter's tool. This is a, this is a tool used for drawing. Duck blade. Small chance of lowering mightiness. Is this going to be good on anyone? Yeah, like the problem is that, like, Pangorma and Samsonosa already come ready with really good stuff, and there's no need to put anything else on them. So why would you put anything else on them? So this guy can duplicate himself. Um, something to think about. I don't know if it actually gives you more meat, though. Hey, there's a there's a move that um Thomsnosa can do in the second game where she like has a wave. Just dark flame. All right. I think this is classified as a mini boss. We're starting to run out of health here, boys. Let's give Wayne a burrito. Let's do a health chant. Cool. Love to see it. So I don't know if there's like a gimmick or a mechanic where you can like try to use as many, like get him to spawn as many uh, extras as you can.
but it might be appreciable. Because that can get us more meat, you know? Cool. Like that? Like seeing that? Hmm. Yeah, is it uh, like the start of every one of my turns? Nope, he's dead. Oh yeah, and he has the slow death animation as well. All right, cool. And he gives you a whole bunch of vegetables. Vegetables. 